What's going on guys? So it's now 8 a.m. and we're here at iPhotography Photography Studios in Kov and just gonna get a shoot on really. It was I got told about the shoot two days ago, so I haven't really prepared for it at all. But gonna hit a little bit of a different style, maybe a couple of shirt shots and whatnot. So we will just see. It's basically just for my portfolio and for theirs and just for the iPhotography Photography Studios uh, website. But I'm ready to go get going and yeah, let's go and enjoy the day. Go. Excellent. There you go. Gonna flick through Mr. Richie looking fabulous. It's now half ten in the morning and I'm gonna take this onward stuff. I got it with a recent order of uh, Dana Lynn Bailey's t-shirts. I bought this one actually, it's really really nice. I bought the I shall not flag nor fail in black. But anyway, got a free sample of her, it's not a pre-workout, but it is something that keeps you going during the day. So I'm just going to put it in with the water and uh, give you an honest taste test and uh, let you know what it's all about. So it, I got the Berryade Aid flavour and I'm putting it in, it smells a lot like Red Bull and uh, that's a really hard flavour to explain, it's like... I put it in maybe 800 mils of water. It tastes kind of weak, but it tastes nice. Uh, and it's not fizzy. I can't really explain it. It's like a weak Red Bull. Yeah, weak Red Bull. But anyway, let's get back on with the shoot. <laughs> Just finished the workout. Really, really hard workout. But the good thing about today was it was so nice that we managed to take the barbells outside and just flip and go for it. I don't know if it was that onward or something, but I felt like I was on a million dollars. I felt like I could go for days. And uh, maybe because I had a rest day yesterday too, but I don't know what we're gonna do now. Just enjoy the rest of the day. Just uh, got into Leaf Bar, literally going from one place to another to another to another. So I just picked up a burger with cheese and chili. Just because I need the calories in, I haven't eaten anything all morning because I've just been rushing from one place to another. Just met up with the mum. And we're in this awesome place. So I'm just going to like literally scoff this down. Then I'm going to go meet a guy called Liam and we're going to go train back. So I'm going from one to another to another to another to another. Busy deck. What's going on guys? So I'm back with another car commentary and this time over a back workout. Now what you'll see we started off with was narrow grip pull downs. So as you will see my grip is pretty neutral. Now when you look at the movements a pull down so a vertical movement is for the width of your back and a horizontal movement so more like a row is just for the thickness of your back. And what people sometimes say is the wider the grip on the pull down, the wider your lats are going to get. And I don't really believe that at all. I think it's really where you're comfortable with the pull down. So where you feel the pull down the most is where your hand should be. So if that means they're a little narrower, then they're a little narrower. If you get more of a squeeze when you're wider, then have your hands a little wider. We then moved on to a row. Now what you'll see in this clip is I do sit up at 90 degrees and you don't see my shoulders come out of place. So the one thing you'll see throughout this video is setting your back before you do a movement. So you really want to engage the lats before you do any sort of movement. And that's the way that you're going to keep your back engaged. Now I see a lot of people in the gym, especially with the um, pull-ups or with the pull-downs, their arms will come up and then their shoulders will pop because they let their lats switch off. You want to keep a good solid V between your face and your shoulders when doing the movement. So first set your lats back and then do the movement in that plane, keeping your lats engaged because time and attention is what's going to build that muscle in your back. We then went on to do a superset of straight arm pull downs. So really pushing your chest up towards the ceiling and getting a good stretch at the bottom into for your lats and then into a um, narrow grip machine uh, cable row 
uh, just for your upper traps. So that was just a nice little super set after the two kind of big movements that we did today, which were the pull downs and the row. And then we just went on to do some single arm stuff to really just target the imbalances and finished off with a narrow grip pull down. And that's all we really did guys. Now you, you will never really see me do a deadlift. Now, I know a lot of you out there will say that deadlifts are great for your central nervous system, they're great for testosterone release and whatnot, but I just really don't enjoy do doing deadlifts. I really, really don't enjoy doing them, so I don't include them in my back workouts. And obviously some people really, really enjoy them, then just put them in there, but for some people that you don't enjoy it, you can see that you can build a good back without deadlifts. So. I'm not saying go out there and don't do deadlifts, but I'm just saying you don't have to do deadlifts if you don't like them. It's the same with most exercises. If you don't like an exercise, then don't really do it. There's always other ways you can target muscles. And that will be the end of this commentary, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's been a super manic morning. And uh, give it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.